St. Paul's Episcopal Church in Beaufort, North Carolina. Today is Wednesday, April 28th, and this is the fourth week of Easter. I am Walter Phillips, a Eucharistic minister here in the church. The service is being put on Facebook and on YouTube by Mary Duane Hale, a former senior warden. The service of noonday prayer begins on, in the prayer book on page 103. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, to the, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. The love of God has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. From the rising of the sun to its setting, my name shall be great among the nations, and in every place incense shall be offered to my name and a pure offering. For my name shall be great among the nations, says the Lord of hosts. Thanks be to God. The first reading today is from the 12th chapter of Acts, beginning with the 24th verse. But the words of God continued to advance and gained adherents. Then after completing their mission, Barnabas and Saul returned to Jerusalem and brought with them John, whose other name was Mark. Now in the church at Antioch, there were prophets and teachers, Barnabas, Simon, who was called Niger, Lucius of Cyrene, Menaean, a member of the court of Herod the ruler, and Saul. While they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. Then after fasting and praying, they laid their hands on them and sent them off. So being sent out by the Holy Spirit, they went down to Seleucia, and from there they sailed to Cyprus. When they arrived at Salamis, they proclaimed the word of God in the synagogues of the Jews. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Today's psalm is 167. May God be merciful to us and bless us. Show us the light of his countenance and come to us. Let your ways be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and sing for joy, for you judge the peoples with equity and guide all the nations upon earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. The earth has brought forth her increase. May God, our own God, give us his blessing. May God give us his blessing, and may all the ends of the earth stand in awe of him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever, world without end. Amen. Today's gospel is from the 12th chapter of John, beginning with the 44th verse. Then Jesus cried aloud, Whoever believes in me, believes not in me, but in him who sent me. And whoever sees me, sees him who sent me. I have come as light into the world, so that everyone who believes in me should not remain in the darkness. I do not judge anyone who hears my words and does not keep them, for I came not to judge the world, but to save the world. The one who rejects me and does not receive my word, word has a judge. On the last day, the word that I have spoken will serve as judge, for I have not spoken on my own. But the Father who sent me has himself given me a commandment about what to say and what to speak. And I know that his commandment is eternal life. What I speak, therefore, I speak just as the Father has told me. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Reflections on what we've read. 
In the 12th chapter of Acts, the gist of this reading is that Barnabas and Paul are simply called by God to go and proclaim his word. Having returned from Jerusalem, they might not have understood what they were called to do, but they left Antioch, where they had been teaching and where the disciples were first called Christians, and answered the call of God to go to Cyprus. Like them, what more can we do? We can pray and talk to God and then listen and do our best to fulfill what we believe God has called us to do. Psalm 67 is a psalm that exhorts the nations and the peoples who inherit them to praise God. It is also a song. After the first verse, those who were singing are called to pause before they sing the next three verses and then pause again before singing the last three. The twelfth chapter of John is beginning with the 44th verse. This is Jesus' final notice to the Jews who didn't believe in him. It's, final, it's his final words to, believing, to unbelieving Jews before he was crucified. The next five chapters in John are talk about what Jesus says privately to his disciples. There is nothing here that Jesus has not already said in this chapter. But what he says is what John's gospel has emphasized, that Jesus is the word made flesh. Putting in context what Jesus said in these verses, he said this immediately after seeing men cower and decline to confess him because of the Pharisees, who they feared would banish them from the synagogue because they loved the approval of men rather than the approval of God. However, knowing what would happen to him, and heedless of his fate, Jesus establishes exactly who he is and that he has come from God. First, he tells us that he, that, that he who would believe in him also believes or beholds the one who sent him. Secondly, he tells us the reason that he came into the world. I have come into the... I have come as light into the world, that everyone who believes in me may not remain in darkness. Two weeks ago, we read in the third chapter of John, verse 19, and this is the judgment, that the light has come into the world, and men loved the darkness rather than the light, for their deeds were evil. Jesus is telling us, or the non-believers, that his purpose is to redeem those who are separated from the light of righteousness or from the truth. Third, in this reading, he tells us that his authority comes from the Father. Again, going back to the third chapter of John, verse 17. For God did not send the Son into the world to judge the world, but that the world would be saved through him which is reinforced by what we just read in verse 19, or in verse 49. For I did not speak on my own initiative, but the Father himself who sent me has given me a commandment of what to say and what to speak. And fourth, in verse 50, and I know that his commandment is eternal life. Therefore, the things I speak, I speak just as the Father has told me. Jesus is the messenger, God's son, and he is sent by God to redeem us. Jesus tells us what he speaks came from God, and therefore we would be wise to heed him, Jesus being God himself. He is one with the Father. He is the light who has come into the world to vanish darkness, evil, and his words will judge all that, re that reject him. His Father's commandment is eternal life, a life uninterrupted by death. Thanks be to God. If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. All this is from God, who through Christ reconciled us to himself and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. Thanks be to God. Lord, have mercy. 
Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come unto you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, send your Holy Spirit into our hearts to direct and rule us according to your will, to comfort us in all our afflictions, to defend us from all error, and to lead us into all truth. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Heavenly Father, giver of life and health, comfort and receive thy sick servants and give thy power of healing to those who minister to their needs, that those for whom our prayers are offered, Nancy Moore, Rachel Chaplin, Halton Eastman, Bill Campbell, Mamra Wilson, Ruth Daniel, Ken Eiler, Nelson Taylor, Joe Paik, Ann Eastman, Ben Green, John Carlisto, William Davis, Bob Mantho, Judy Mercer, Jack Gardner, Annette Cruz, Jamal, Patty Otten, Sarah Evans, Jenny Coslow, Joe Smith, Bab Barnes, and Kathy Osmond, may be strengthened in their weakness and have confidence in thy loving care. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, who has given us this good land for our heritage, we humbly beseech thee that we may always prove ourselves a people mindful of thy favor and glad to do thy will. Bless our land with honorable industry, sound learning, and pure manners. Save us from violence, discord, and confusion, from pride and arrogance, and from every evil way. Defend our liberties and fashion into one united people, the multitudes brought hither out of many kindreds and tongues. Endue with the spirit of wisdom those to whom in thy name we entrust the authority of government, that there may be justice and peace at home, and that through obedience to thy law, we may show forth thy praise among the nations of the earth. In the time of prosperity, fill our hearts with thankfulness, and in the day of trouble, suffer not our trust in thee to fail. All which we ask through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty and ever-living God, ruler of all things in heaven and earth, Hear our prayers for this parish family, strengthen the faithful, arouse the careless, and restore the penitent. Grant us all things necessary for our common life, and bring us all to be of one heart and mind within your holy church. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty Savior, who at noonday called your servant, St. Paul, to be an apostle to the Gentiles. We pray you to illumine the world with the radiance of your glory, that all nations may come and worship you. For you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I give to you, my own peace I leave with you. Regard not our sins, but the faith of your church, and give to us the peace and unity of that heavenly city, where with the Father and the Holy Spirit you live and reign, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.